Welcome to Electra Online. In the previous video, we saw how we could draw lines using two points, then finding the slope, and then graphically comparing the lines to one another. Well, we should also be able to draw the lines graphically if we're given a point on the line and the slope. So here we have two examples of how to do that. So first, we should find the point. And here we're given the point 3, 2, that means the x value is 3 and the y value is negative 2. So 3 on the x is right here, negative 2 on the y. So when we draw a line this way and a line this way where the two meet, that's the point 3, 2. Uh, 3, negative 2 I should say because we're in the negative direction for in the y-axis, right? This is 3, negative 2. All right. Now we're given that the slope is a negative 1 over 6. And remember that the slope is the change in the y value over the x value. It is equal to the rise over the run. Now here it tells us that the rise is a negative 1. In other words, it's actually a drop of negative 1 and the run is 6. That means if we start from our point, we can drop 1. So this here is the negative rise of negative 1. And then we have a run of 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we have one more point, the point 9 there. And then we can draw another point. So this value here is a negative 1. There, right here, is a plus 6. So we dropped 1, that's a negative rise, and we ran 6 in the positive x direction. And then we draw a new point right there. And then when we connect those two points, there's the line represented by that one point, 3, negative 2, and the slope, negative 1 over 6. Here's our second example. Again, we find the point negative 4, 0, so negative 4 in the x direction. I need to add a few more points right here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, so negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, and 0 for the y. That means that puts me right over there. Negative 4 for the x and 0 for the y direction tells me that my slope is 3, so we could actually write it as 3 over 1. And remember that the slope, by definition, is equal to the rise over the run. Which means a rise of 3 for a run of 1. So from the starting point right here, the point negative 4, 0, I rise 3, so I go 1, 2, 3, and I run 1. So 3 up. That's a rise of 3 and a run of 1. And there's my new point. So I connect those two. So here I'm at the point negative 3, 3. Then again, I can do a rise of 3 and a run of 1. So I go 1, 2, 3 and a run of 1, 1. Oop, that's a little off there. So I go up 3. That's a rise of 3. I have another run of 1. So I put another point down, connect those. I was slightly off of my graph. There we go. There's my first point. There's my second point. And that point is then, of course, negative 2, 6. Oop, that's a negative 2, comma, 6, and so forth. So I can just keep on going. A rise of 3, a run of 1, a rise of 3, a run of 1, and so forth. And if I connect all those points, that gives me the line, the graphical line of, uh, the, the graphical line of my graph, so to speak. All right. So that's how we find our lines. We go to our first point that's given, and then we use the definition of slope, rise over run, to find the second point. Here again, we start with the point that was given, then we have a rise of three, run of one, rise of three, run of one, rise of three, run of one, connect all those points, and then you have the line you're looking for. And that is how it's done. 